I'm now going to introduce you to one of the best ways that you can save money on home charging and you absolutely need to know about this. It's something called the time of use rate. I'm going to start this off by saying I am not a lawyer, I am not an accountant and I am not an electrician. So make sure you do your own research on everything that I'm telling you. If you're watching this video one year from now, the laws may have changed, electric companies may have changed their rules. So just make sure you do your own research for wherever you are in the US at the moment. I also want to walk you through my entire thought process about how I actually decided to choose this specific box. The first thing that I looked at was what are the approved boxes allowed by my electricity supply company? Then the second thing I did was I went with my electrician and looked at our circuit breaker board. And from that, I was able to tell that the largest circuit breaker in my house was 40 amps, which means that it only a 32 amp uh, box would work. If you want a 50 amp box, you will need a 60 amp circuit breaker usually. And that would have cost me $4,000 to replace in my house. So I decided to go with the cheaper box. And I'm perfectly happy. I drive a full EV and 32 amps is more than enough for my needs and for my driving style and situation. So that's how you would uh, go about choosing your box. And uh, so what I would also advise you to do is make sure that you get your installation permitted because a lot of the incentives rely on the fact that your, your, your whole box is permitted and your installation is permitted and choose your uh, electrician really well. Make sure it's somebody you trust and I would advise you to choose somebody who deals with EVs uh, and who is already aware of your local laws and uh, how you can take advantage of all these different features. What the time of use rate of rate is basically I get a flat rate to charge my house but I have this box installed and it is one of the four boxes that are it, allowed by my uh, electric supply company BGE to get this rate. Uh, I have a standard 240 volt outlet here, which I got a, uh, I got a transformer to upgrade from 120 to 240 volts. And technically I could plug using the Volvo cable straight into this and I would just get my flat rate. It would be a good charge uh, time as well. But instead, what I've done is I've now added a box into the whole mix. And this is the reason why. My electric company uh, gives me a special rate to charge off-peak versus peak. Off-peak times for me are between uh, 8 p.m. at night and 10 a.m. in the morning and all weekend. And the rates are significantly lower. Let me put this into perspective for you. I used to do about $150 to $170 of fuel on a Golf GTI and right now I'm spending less than $40 a month in electricity. So imagine somebody was taking like $120 a month off your monthly payment on a car. It's pretty significant. So I want you to think of it in those sort of terms. This box communicates wirelessly to uh, the electric supply company and it'll actually give me a credit for all the times that I charge during off-peak hours. In case you're in a plug-in hybrid, you may be able to just get along without installing a home charging station like this. Uh, but you need to work out what's right for your needs. If you find that you're doing a lot of your driving all electric, it may work out better for you to actually spend the money and go through this. So do your accounting, uh, do your research, and, and figure out if that's the right thing for you. I also want to explain why I decided to have a box and have that connected with a weatherproof plug here. In case this box fails, this is after discussing it with my electrician, in case this box were to fail, then I have a backup option. I can connect in here with my Volvo cable. So this was done and it, it was a better option for me than hard wiring the whole unit. So that is something I would also advise you to have a chat to your electrician about, about whether or not a setup like this is better for you or just hard wiring the whole connection. I'll give you the numbers on, I spent $1,800 for this entire installation. That is equipment, everything installed. Of that, I got about $1,300 back 
through, uh, firstly, I, there's a federal tax credit which applies at the moment. And uh, well, it applied in 2021. So make sure you check and see if it's still applicable. Um, and then that was for installing a home charging station. And uh, then there's also a Maryland state tax credit that I was able to take advantage of. So it is worth checking to see if you have any state uh, local incentives as well as power company incentives that will give you a time of use rate. So I hope that saves you some serious money.